This week on One Crazy Story, comedian Kate Brindle returns to talk about traveling all over the world and a shady cab ride to Machu Picchu. Like oh there was God. a guy there who spoke English, so he came over to us and he's like, oh, you guys, you know what, you want to see the Nazca Lines? Like, yeah. And he goes, well, I got a guy oh, and, no, uh, you know, he's good. got a plane. And I just tell Keith, I go, I'm not getting on any plane, you know, right. who's got a guy. Yeah. Like, I feel like you have a guy for like an yeah. oil change, not a right. pilot. Yeah. Like, oh, he's just got a plane in his garage, you yeah, know. This guy, he'll take you up there. <laughs> yeah. Hello and welcome to another edition of One Crazy Story. I'm your host, Nate Armbruster, and this week I'm talking with comedian Kate Brindle. Kate is a friend. She's done the show before, so if you uh, haven't had the opportunity to listen to her last episode, pretty great. You got to go back a little bit, though. This is uh, definitely one of the first ones I've done. Uh, Kate was doing comedy when I started. Very funny. A uh, good friend in comedy. Um, I like getting the chance. This is what I like about doing this podcast is uh, because it forces me to talk to people that I don't get to see all the time. Once you start doing comedy, you could start together, and then eventually you guys are at the same level, and you're wherever the hell you are in the country or in the world, so you don't get the chance to work together as often. And that's kind of a, kind of one of the less fun parts of comedy is once you get older and you get you know you kind of figure out what lane you're in and you start moving, and then everybody. Everybody's doing their own thing. It's good because everybody's working, but it's kind of a bummer because you don't get to hang out like you used to. So Kate was cool enough to come by and do the podcast again. And uh, we talk about all sorts of stuff, traveling, because Kate is a world traveler. Been to, I mean, she's 20, it was like, I, she tells, she mentions it in the episode, but she, so something, 20, 30 countries, somewhere in there, somewhere in there, which is a lot of countries. So yeah, guys, definitely a uh, Get to know Kate, follow her online. You can go to her website, katebrindle.com. She performs literally everywhere, so you can find out where she's at. Uh, and uh, if you like anything I'm doing, you can always get in touch with me, at Nate Comedy or at One Crazy Story. Follow me anywhere on social media. It'd be nice to hear from you. And if you want to get in touch with me directly, if you have any thoughts uh, about anything, I'd love to hear from you. Email me directly at onecrazystory at gmail.com. So thank you again for listening and enjoy this week's episode with myself and comedian Kate Brindle. Now there's this extra person who I'm responsible oh my God. for in that my is life. Crazy. But, I yeah. like I, I think it's great. I think it's great though, because you can like you, I just love that you haven't quit you're just like, nope, still doing I'm still in rural Ohio doing this one nighter. Right. I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> Well, normally, I gotta get out of the house. <laughs> I don't I totally get that. I just, I would I think more parents should have that mm-hmm. like or feel that way you know what i mean and like be okay with it because i don't think it's a bad thing i'm <laughs> like that's like your th- that's that's your thing and you're like i'm gonna do it and who am i to like well plus you don't want to be that parent that like lets some shit go that you want you know what i mean like put that on your kid like mom used to love comedy and then i came around and she had to quit exactly. because i had to go yeah and it's like it's like whatever your kid will be fine yeah so, so you took a few thursday you know thursdays off of you know just i'm gonna go i'm gonna go to like sandusky and just relax <laughs> right sit in a silent hotel room wherever the hell wherever you're going you know <laughs> like, and with beer which oh, is oh yeah yeah <laughs> really right. nice so. i love that because normally my experience has always been because i don't it's usually the guy that i'm working with that just had a baby and you know it's always like well luckily you know, she can watch the kid while I go or yeah. whatever, you know, but then, and then like that guy's like, I feel like a dick because I get to leave. <laughs> she doesn't or whatever. And it's like, oh shit. Right. But I'm you, the dick who gets well, to no, leave. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I am. But, I mean, it's kind of great. <laughs> that's, but that's the thing is like, you get to, you know, I just think it's cool that you didn't stop doing Cause I'm like, every time I see you, it's like, oh, you're a lawyer now. Okay, you're you're a parent now. That's crazy. So much shit happens. Yeah, I don't sleep a lot. I know. It's like um, you do everything. You're doing yeah. everything. You're like you, you 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 went to law school. You had a baby. You're still doing comedy. I'm like, you must really love comedy. I, well, I do, but yeah. I think it is. It's kind of like my adult time. It's like right. the only time that because I stay at home with her during the day, yeah. and then on the weekends I work. And so, um, yeah, I think it's just like it's the oh, perfect. It actually is kind of the perfect gig yeah for, yeah because because you if because you don't have to deal with some w- bullshit like i need a month off right you know you don't have to like <laughs> i mean it's sad that people do have to do that but like you don't have to be like what kind of like uh, m- uh maternity benefits mm-hmm. you got you know i mean don't yeah. get me wrong comedy has no benefits right, right. so it's, there's not even like <laughs> yeah but <laughs> there's like literally no benefits there's like no 401k no, uh, no 401k but, yeah. no 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 emotional benefits so there's nothing right, right. <laughs> it's like it's just kind of sad but i mean but now it does because you can like 
you can use that time to like, you know what? I'm going to go be Kate for a night. Yeah. Yeah. No kid. Right. Exactly. So it's been, it's been kind of nice. Although it was a little crazy. I think I went back a little too early. Um, cause oh, I was yeah. back a week after I got out of the hospital, which was, that's crazy. Pretty nuts. Don't you want a few weeks off after giving birth? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yes, <laughs> Wouldn't you? In I don't retrospect. <laughs> but see, that's the thing. I really thought I was so naive. I was like, yeah, I'm just going to pop out a kid and just be right back <laughs> on the road. You know? that's so and, crazy. Um, yeah, it was because, well, and I had to have like a C-section too, mm-hmm. like an emergency C-section. So that's and like, so, that's technically just major surgery. Super major. You're not like. <laughs> which I had no idea. And so my, my first show back, I mean, I was still like pretty bandaged up around right. my stomach oh, and so are you like still in pain and stuff too oh yeah so i didn't want to laugh it was like i mean walking <laughs> to the stage i was like how That's am so, i gonna get up there it was so, so bad yeah well it sucks that you're like and you're like what am i doing where were you at well, a few weeks after it was um in mitch gill's room okay so a little like one night or nothing yeah. yeah okay so nothing like nothing crazy big right like it's no. just like but, but you're like you're walking up on stage just like, hey, right. I'm here. <laughs> I was cut open two weeks ago and somebody ripped a child from my womb and right. now I'm here like crazy. Please laugh. And I couldn't Please take... just give me your laughter. <laughs> right. Like I need validation this bad. And I couldn't take the pain meds because you can't take them if you're driving. So oh, I was like, no. well, I got to drive myself to this gig. <laughs> so I got to lay off the bike. And Could so you I drive was, though? Cause like I had like, um, I had my appendix out. Oh, okay. And so you know like, about you can't like, but abdominal. because of the muscles and stuff, yeah. like, you can't drive. Cause you know, you're supposed to be using the gas and, you know, break and stuff. Well, you're supposed to be <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But yeah, you know, you can't physically, it, it could tear or like open up your, your like incision or whatever. Same, yeah, That's same with me. You, I probably wasn't supposed because I feel seatbelt. like yours is probably more intense. I have this little, this little scar. You're like, oh shit! Like I was, oh, like so, you know, I gave birth. But still, I mean, did they cut? Like when you had the appendix, did they cut you, or did mm-hmm. they do the kind of? They cut. Yeah, this was. Oh, they did. Tech, I'm, you know, like I'm young, but this is, yeah, yeah. It wasn't anything cool. Like you just got this little hole now that we just filled in or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> know nothing about medical uh <laughs> that sounds technical yeah, you yeah, can totally yeah, yeah, work at yeah. hospital but but you went up post-pregnancy like a week or two after yeah yeah it's intense man how'd yeah. the set go um <laughs> it, <laughs> did you that... even did you talk about what was going on no, no? <laughs> <laughs> I just did like my same old act. Yeah, just right. You just you phoned through. it in. You're like, I'm gonna. I thought this was gonna be fun, but tonight I am just. I'm doing my shit and I'm leaving. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, because I want to go home and take my bike in, which I've right. had to not take because yeah. yeah, driving and. But it was scary because his room was in the thumb of mm-hmm. Michigan, mm-hmm. which um yeah, yeah it's, it's far it's, enough, so it's a couple hours. It's not like a close right. drive. <laughs> exactly, and there's like deer everywhere, so that's all I could think. You're like, Coast- great, I would hit a deer. I'm bandaged yeah. up. I'm away from my child. <laughs> and have the seatbelt like tear open oh, the wound. No. And of course, oh, you know, no, if you had your yeah. appendix out, right? Because yeah. if you. You can't put, you can't touch it. The Any pressure anywhere. I right. mean, I, f- I would feel like a scar. It's a scar. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not pretending like I <laughs> birthed a child over here. But, but like, still, if you've had a, a scar abdominal scar. surgery, yeah, yeah, you yeah. get it. Yeah. yeah. You can't, you can only do so much. Right. And right. I can't even imagine. <laughs> Yeah, that was in retrospect. It's hard for me to do comedy not pregnant. <laughs> right. And like, I can't even imagine just having a baby and like, or just having a baby, but like then having to go on stage a couple weeks after. Yeah, it was, it was pretty weird. It was uh, uh, when I did tell a couple of people after the show, they were like, wait, what? Why are you at <laughs> home? Like, this is <laughs> okay. Uh, so, what? yeah, you came all the way here and it's like, yeah, and you fuckers didn't even enjoy that shit. I know. You could have at least laughed. Be grateful that I came to this bowling Yeah, alley. right. <laughs> and it really was <laughs> like, yeah, like, but what I mean great, it was like sold but, out so what a whatever. great uh what a great story to tell your child one day yeah <laughs> you know yeah. a funny story you know yeah. well and <laughs> she I mean I joke about how she came on the road with me and that mm-hmm. she traveled because I went I mean I went to because before she was born it was like wow I want to get all these like trips out of my system yeah so, so I you went, went to, to like you, didn't you go to like Peru and all that shit like you yeah. talking about like the major like you know like uh other countries and shit like mm-hmm. real like traveling yeah yeah i went to well yeah i have been to peru but when i was pregnant with her i went to australia and new zealand oh while you were pregnant <laughs> yeah i was Hell just like yeah. oh yeah 15 hour flight you know wow. six months pregnant God damn, okay. <laughs> is that like uh obviously you can do that I, does flying affect i don't know does it 
um, like pregnancy? They say There's like a certain cutoff or something? Yeah, there is a cutoff. I think it's like 36 weeks, like wow. eight months. That Because I guess the yeah. fear is that you could go into labor. Interesting. On the plane. But right. I was kind of in the safe zone. Wow. So. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. So you traveled pregnant to... Mm-hmm. Where'd you go? Um, I went to Australia and New Zealand. Wow. Yeah, it was pretty nice. What was that like? Did you go alone? No, I went with um, Keith Lenart, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a right. comedian a friend travel, of ours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Dude. we went together and yeah, it was fun. It was uh, it was crazy because the one, so when we were, uh, so we flew into Sydney from mm-hmm. LA, which was, we didn't see that much of Australia, but mm-hmm. Sydney was mm-hmm. awesome. And then we spent the majority of our time in New Zealand. So we took a flight um, from Sydney to New Zealand. And that was like mm-hmm. crazy turbulent. Like I yeah. oh, kind of no. thought we were going to die. People were crying yeah. and like throwing up and it was. Wow. And yeah. you've traveled a ton before this already, like internationally. And like, so this is kind of like, you know, flights are nothing to you, especially right. long th- flights. So uh, when you're pregnant, does it change your like, cause like turbulence, I'm sure you've experienced, was that like the worst you've dealt with? Cause you're like, does being pregnant affect, does, are you more scared? I think I was scared because I was like, what if I messed up my child? Oh, you know, no. because yeah. I'm on this shaking. Because I had never, because you know how usually with turbulence you bounce down, yeah. like it's kind of like, foom, foom, foom. Yeah. this was like, I felt like we were being blown sideways. Yikes. I had never oh, no. felt anything like it in my entire life. And I mean, at the point, I mean, I'm kind of a hypochondriac, but at the point, other passengers are. Yeah. crying i'm like oh, okay yeah that's maybe bad. we are gonna maybe, die yeah. If I'm not, yeah it's not just me being crazy we right. all feel that way that's yeah and the, ugh. <laughs> yeah it was it that was feeling in your stomach that you already get but on top of that you have a baby in you and it's like oh, yeah it was ugh. terrible it was yeah. <laughs> shit. it was we had to get well we had to get diverted to another city mm-hmm. and we had to spend the night in that city and it and then they thought they were gonna have to bus us in and we didn't even know until the next day whether we were gonna be able to go in and the craziest part was we get to the airport and the weather's still super bad Uh and so we're talking to the guy we're like you think we're gonna make it (laughs) "Ah, we'll give it a go you know and they were just so nonchalant about it and so then there was give it a go that's what he said i'm gonna give it a go oh Oh, my god okay you can't even lie to me right like oh customer service please please like, yeah, exactly I, I, i'm pregnant yeah let me i mean even if i weren't like well, come fucking on. Lie to me. Yeah. yeah and they were just so because i was like okay well how do you know if it's safe you know mm-hmm. i'm probably being annoying but questioning them they were like well there's one flight ahead of us who was due to land in the airport again from australia mm-hmm. and he goes and uh if they have a successful landing then we'll go ahead and i'm like <laughs> what? what if they don't <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're just yeah, we're... Oh, they splatted you know but <laughs> okay it's so crazy being in other parts of the world where you're like that's just a common thing where it's mm-hmm. like you know we could just disappear right right we could <laughs> yeah, they, you know there's no hope but also. we're gonna give it a go you never gonna, know, you know yeah yeah hope for but the like, best you know like, you forget, you get, flying domestically in the united states is like I, you're not even not even I'm never scared about it mm-hmm. you know I like I've never thought like what if we just like never show up when we're yeah. supposed to go like that yeah. but in other parts of the world it's like yeah it might happen might not be it might not even be a terror thing it mm-hmm. might just be like yeah we just disappeared right couldn't tell Ran you what happened gas. couldn't tell you what happened right. we're in the ocean somewhere like you know it's weird that's right. weird to think about where it's like that's kind of common over there it's mm-hmm. like those crashes and shit and then you're like Oh boy. And then you hear that guy like, nah, you know, well, like, how about <laughs> maybe just don't give it a go if they, yeah. If yeah. It, or just or take it seriously. Or do you have any science base like, or like, you know, something like, you know, here's the wind's going this direction mm-hmm. and we can, you know, we can figure out how to take off or I don't know. I don't know how it works. That's why you're flying the fucking plane. That's why I'm telling the dumb jokes. You know, that's all I'm qualified to do. Is sadly. Same here. Yeah. yeah. It's like the only thing like it's, I really hope this thing works out because it's. <laughs> All yeah, I this got. is it's it. All right. I got. right. Yeah. <laughs> like I've never I have no other hope. <laughs> it's like I know, I know. No, I have no same. skill set other than that. And that I'm like, I don't even know if that's good. You know <laughs> right. what I mean? Like I don't even know if that's good enough. Who knows what's you know? I feel like you can kind of spin it into things on a resume. Sure. Like, you know, good at social media and <laughs> promotion. <laughs> and, you know, something. every time I'm like, I'm I'm gonna resume together, I'm gonna find a good fucking job with some insurance. Yeah, I, I I open up Word and I'm like, Ugh. Mm-hmm. and I just go, well, let's see if I can get a few gigs next month and see if I can fill some of these dates that I need because I am not doing. I, I can't even fill out the resume. It's like it's I just know. when you have to put it on paper, what I didn't accomplish, like. 
<laughs> like here uh last 10 years stand-up comedy that's pretty much it i mean sure the occasional temp job or like whatever it is but that doesn't really help me here <laughs> like, i know I and know. then it either goes one of two ways when you're in, the, in an uh, i've never actually interviewed at any of these places i've never heard back so it's like but have you ever actually had a job interview? not a real one not really? like one that wasn't like every like part-time job i've had has been through like oh so oh so so and so so Kate send you here yeah she okay. says you're she, oh yeah then I'm like yeah whatever it's you don't need to be yeah anybody can do the job that I've ever done it's but like that's one impressive of, in a way that like, sure because like I know people who are kind enough to like help me out when I need it and, you know and the jobs go fine I'm yeah. a good employee but yeah. like you know what I'm trying to get I've never had like a real interview where it's like wear a suit sit down think about what they're gonna ask you <laughs> like right. and don't, you know don't accidentally swear yeah yeah because I've done that. <laughs> And every job I've I've had has like been a place where I'm like that's fine yeah that's not a big deal I don't care he swore too <laughs> like but that's it I think that's the measure of a good job sure right? yeah you can no kind of speak your mind yeah and, and no those are cool the, that's what you know I mean that's just what this is where I'm, that's what it's what I am it's what yeah. I do so I like it I'm not like unhappy but like when you think about it, I'm like I've never. Is either going to go, oh, you've done comedy for the last 10 years. That's great. You're like, it's like an entrepreneur. Like you can like spin it into like how, you know, it's like your own business. You got to, you know, you got to, I'm a manager. I've, I do, I ha, I wear all the hats in my career, exactly. right? Exactly. I'm a creative person. I think I speak my mind or I, uh, whatever I, uh, I speak off the cuff or whatever, however you want to say it. I can sales. Whatever. Right. You, right. You can spin it. And then also it's like, they'll read it and they'll just be like, uh, you're probably just a piece of shit. <laughs> You know, like <laughs> we, we, we don't have time for you to joke around on the clock, buddy. And I'm like, that's not why I'm applying here. I'm it's like, but like, can't you see why it's kind of like maybe a, a good quality to have kind of fun or funny? Yeah. I don't know. Or like, I don't know. I'll just leave. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Bye. I'll just try and get some more gigs. That's all, that's all I can do. Just get me, just go back to Sault Ste. Marie again and, oh, you know, yeah. just kind of just keep, <laughs> and then hopefully next time I... You know, next time around, I get a little, you know, we'll just keep moving up. <laughs> I, I know it is. It's like, yeah, what do you want to do? Fill out your resume or just, eh, I can email my avails, I <laughs> yeah, guess. Yeah, send me my, I'll do yep. that. And it's like, why, dude? I'm not even going to bother. I know you're not. You know. <laughs> I know. I know. It's it's because I've talked to people who will actually call bookers and I'm like, oh, you I call? can't. Oh, I yeah. don't. No, I can't uh -huh. stand the rejection. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, some people think it's like they're cornered then. They have to respond. And I'm like, no, they, they'll just tell you no or just like dodge yeah. your call or not right. respond to your message. It's like, well, you know, why bother? <laughs> right. I'd, I'd rather. That's why I think Facebook Messenger is tough because you right. know they read your message mm -hmm. and didn't write back. Whereas mm -hmm. at least with email, I'm like, well, maybe they didn't get it. Maybe it's right. in their spam can, folder. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe it's buried in all the emails they yeah. get, you know, so it's nothing personal or like, but then when you know it's per like, I had somebody just, it was somebody like recently just said, Hey, this person's looking for comedians for their it was just a shared thing on facebook oh okay they said, send up a message and it's not and by the post that i saw i was like this guy's desperate for new like yeah. comedians or whatever and i was like it's not far away i'm like yeah i'll do i'd love to do this place right so i send the guy a message i add him on facebook he accepts my request send him this message hey i hear you're looking for you know whatever so and so i saw this blah 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 no response and i'm like how how like how badly do you need people? Yeah, I was like, come on, man. I was like, is it that bad? I'm like, I'm, it's, it's it's just funny that people would like reach out, and I and right. I'm like, not that I'm your savior, but like, come on, buddy. I'm not far away. I can do. I think I can do an all. Right. I don't know. I have people that absolutely. You do a great job. I got, but I got some references that you. Yeah. And I'm like nothing. All right. <laughs> Not even a response, though. That's the thing. It's like, it's just like, okay, fine. Yeah. Fine. But you asked. <laughs> That's the thing that I think is crazy when people go, hey, I need people. And you're like, I'm available. And they're like, nah. Not you, nah, actually. Nah. You know. Eh. I know. And it's like, how hard is it to write back? Like, mm -hmm. Just kind of be like, eh, no, mm -hmm. thanks. Mm -hmm. it's, I've been really bad lately at like just responding to texts and Facebook messages yeah, where I'm like, same. I see it and I'm like, I'll get to that later. And then I never get to that because mm -hmm. I really try to not look at any screens as little or look as little as possible. Or I'm like, I, I can't even, I don't want to. That's good and though. Then like, and then I go, but it's horrible for relationships with anybody. Like, you know what oh, I mean? Yeah. Where I'm like, and these are people that I need to respond to and I just don't do it. You know what I mean? Like, and I feel bad. And I'm like, ah, fuck, I got to. And then like, finally, eventually when it's like, I have to do this or right. they're going to hate me. And I finally go through and I just respond to all of them. I'm just bad. I just ignore shit. And it's nothing. This thing is, it's literally nothing personal. It's never like, fuck that guy. It's always like, 
I'll do that later. And then yeah. I don't do it. And then I, whatever, get distracted. And then finally I'm like, these notification like bubbles are bothering me. Like you 29 messages. I'm like, oh, I just got to get rid of it now. My OCD is kicked in. But at least you, yeah, it, it sounds like more productive. Yeah. Like you can kind of make a day yeah. of responding. I just like, let okay, it build up. Is, yeah. Yeah. I just have to, I have to get better at uh, prioritizing. Anyway, the point is, point, maybe I shouldn't have a job. <laughs> maybe be, maybe I've, <laughs> now that I think about it, maybe I should, HR is going to be like, why yeah. haven't you responded to email in well, three weeks? Yeah. <laughs> like I, yeah. Like I listen to your podcast. You, you freely admit that you don't respond to anybody. Right. <laughs> maybe you're not the best employee. Just cut that part uh, out. Or, yeah, seriously, or, just bleep, just a long bleep. Yeah, exactly. Um, so the last time you did uh, my podcast, we talked about uh, the 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 star the st- your stalker situation. Yeah, or, and which classic classic Kate Brindle. <laughs> <laughs> Me being a stalker or having a stalker. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, uh, but no, I but anyway. But it's, so it's been a while. But I wasn't sure. I because I didn't screen. I didn't screen what you wanted to talk about this time. Uh, I just kind of said, have something in mind. Yeah. Because you know, uh, I don't like throwing people under the bus and like, hey, by the way, think of something right now, you know. Um, you want to, well, should I give you, can I tell you like a little preview and yeah. you say if it's okay? If yeah. It's not, okay. So you were talking about Peru. So it's about an adventure I had in Peru. Oh, Is that, I mean, yeah. okay. Oh yeah. Let's do it. Okay. My, I don't know how funny it is, but it's kind of... Is it? It's an adventure, right? Okay. It's an adventure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, hell yeah. Because my, my girlfriend just went to Peru and she had a blast. Yeah. Where did she go? Uh, well, remember when that time I asked you where you went? Yeah. She pretty much did almost the exact same thing. Oh, okay. She went to... She did all like the um, Lima and uh, Cusco. Yeah. Yeah. Did the whole Machu Picchu yeah. thing. It did, yeah. Okay. And they... But I mean, just based on all the pictures and stuff, it's like, holy shit, that's awesome. You know? You got to go with her next time. I know. I know. Your boy's poor. Yeah, I know. Spend <laughs> I'm that so big poor. one-nighter money. I know, right? <laughs> you could probably be, I mean, there's yeah. parts of it. You could You could live large in Peru. Because, I mean, when I went, I got the flight. Listen, listen. I can I can support us both on in, on Peruvian. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just learn to speak Spanish. Tell some jokes there. Spanish and, uh, isn't hard to learn, is yeah, it? Yeah, no. It's one of the easiest languages to learn, I've from what I've read in English. <gasps> I think it's, well, it's easy in theory. I should say that. And I'm also it's terrible learn, at though. Spanish. I mean, to learn. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if I wanted to learn a new language tomorrow and start, like, you know, really learning a new language, yeah. that's the one you go with, right? I think so. I mean, I've And it's trying... also probably the most common. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've been trying to learn it for 20 years and mm-hmm. I still suck. I mean, How I bad actually... are you trying, though? I mean, I went to Guatemala to go to Spanish school. Oh. Like, I think, <laughs> yeah. like I've no. been pretty serious about it. And I, like, I, I mean, that's actually true. It's, I know, I believe it. No, I believe um, it. That's, a, that's exactly what you would do. Yeah. I, that's uh, exactly what you would well, do. Well, I did it because um, I got the flight for free uh-huh. using uh, Spirit <laughs> Frequent Flyer Miles. Hell. And um, <laughs> and I realized, I was like, calculating, it was cheaper for me to live in Guatemala than like Wow. A- anywhere else kind of because the place where I lived and we got our meals and to go to school mm-hmm. was like I think per month it was like four hundred dollars so that Damn. was like school lodging and food wow. I was like where else am I gonna be able to do no, this no you can't so, do it anywhere yeah so I just you know tried well, to learn yeah. some Spanish and I'm so still you're intermediate not good. intermediate maybe yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm intermediate um with non-native speakers okay. so people who yeah, speak so very slowly yeah mm-hmm. i can get it but people um in peru as i found out when i got pulled over um by a police uh. <laughs> in a car oh, i was God. like oh my spanish skills are not what i thought they were <laughs> so <laughs> yeah especially when someone's like barking orders oh, at you no. and, oh no but what's the what's the peruvian police like um because because like <laughs> Don't, I feel like there it's like do I pull over is this one of those things where like I get like kidnapped <laughs> right <laughs> I don't know like, to bribe someone do you, or... like I don't know like I don't know how that works I just assume that any other country south of you know Mexico it's like don't pull over for the police but also pull over because it's the police yeah <laughs> you know what I mean yeah you know you were in a, you look very American so it's like yeah <laughs> maybe I you know you want my organs officer right. don't do that please <laughs> just pay the ticket well, it was a checkpoint. Oh, so okay. we so oh, everybody goddamn, had to yeah. go through and you know, I had no idea right. that there were gonna be checkpoints. We But you're we, also like is this like a local militia or is this like a or are, yeah, you or the it, are these legit police? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't good, know. Are you good for this to for me if I need you? Can I talk to you? Or like 
or is this bad? Is this bad or good? I, I but, still don't know. Yeah, um, yeah. So, wow. So you, yeah, you're, he's barking orders and yeah. Cause we pulled over this checkpoint and he said, I forgot what he, I mean, I mean just yeah, basic just, stuff. And, yeah. but then he said, your Albano. Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I want to survey that, please. That, that's that's <laughs> basic to me. Banya. Yeah, yeah. That's all you really need. But cause you know, it was a checkpoint. And so then he said, well, whose car is it? Because I gave him all the paper. That's what it was. I gave him the papers and one of the papers was like missing or something mm-hmm. because apparently there are a lot more papers uh, to having a car than just your insurance and registration. And <laughs> and we rented the car on a fluke literally the night before. We're like, oh, let's just yeah. rent a car and do a little driving in Peru. And so then he said, well, who who owns the car? And I didn't know how to say rental car. So I said, well, it's not mine. And he's oh, like, well, no. then whose is it? You know? Oh, and, no. and then he wanted and me. this is in Spanish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I could tell he was saying open something, yeah. but I didn't know. So I'm like opening the glove box. I'm opening like everything you could. And he's like, and then I realized, oh, he's saying no, the trunk. But I didn't know the word for trunk. <laughs> That's so, so funny. Okay. And, you know, of course, I, you know. I, you okay. can't, I can't believe he wouldn't just be like, he wouldn't just point. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the the simple like. When clearly this person's confused, like glove box, no, eh, no, just point, man. Just right, <laughs> exactly. Like point to the back, or because yeah. I was, I was, or just uh, knock, you yeah. know, like you know, just <laughs> right, <laughs> some sort of sign language I, for trunk. Yeah. And of course, I was, I was also with Keith Lenard on yeah. this uh, adventure, and yeah. Keith doesn't speak any Spanish, so no matter what, he, place, nobody's any help here. Right. Yeah. So no matter what place we would go to, whenever they would speak to us, a restaurant didn't matter. He would just point to me, like deal with oh, her you know God <laughs> so damn. that of course if i didn't understand someone yeah i'm like completely on my own and then uh. he would kind of want me to translate but i'm not like that no yeah great, you're like- <laughs> you know so i would kind of say what i knew how to say right and, this is my interpretation of what he said of what you're saying exactly yeah. and but yeah that's not even the crazy adventure the crazy yeah. adventure was getting to um to machu picchu okay. and that was like yeah so how like insane. where'd you guys stay uh, did you stay far from Machu Picchu? Or? So we started, well, kind of. We we started off in Cusco, yeah. which is the big city that yeah. you fly into. And mm-hmm. then you That's where she flew in, my girlfriend flew into, and she stayed there. Yeah, oh, they got, okay. I think they got like an Airbnb there. And yeah. Like just, yeah. Did she like it there? Oh, loved it. Yeah. She said she, I think she said, if I remember right, she said she liked that more than uh, uh, Lima. Mm-hmm. Like as far as like a too. town, as far as a town goes and like just like hanging out and she said she liked it more, I think yeah it's pretty but yeah no she liked it a lot and i think they took like a shuttle or a bus to machu picchu okay that's how they got there they didn't rent a car i know that well because it's really it's it's actually really hard to get there by Mm -hmm. car so you either have to take a train because it's like a four hour maybe it was a train then yeah because most people take the train because you either have to take a train or hike it it was a train because they missed it on the way back oh Uh, like she was with uh three other people and like one of them didn't get there in time you know and they didn't want to split up so they had to wait for the next one or something oh okay But yeah it was definitely a train yeah yeah because it's like i mean it's in the andes mountains Mm -hmm. so you're like going straight up the mountains Mm -hmm. i mean it's pretty nuts like there's not because that's actually what ended up happening to Mm -hmm. us they were um there was a strike i guess or some sort of protest because a lot of the people who work so the the city closest to Machu Picchu that's really close, it's really more like a village, is called Aguas Calientes. Mm-hmm. And a lot of the people who work there live in Cusco, so they take this train mm-hmm. back and forth, and the train keeps jacking up the prices. Yeah. They were like, so somehow we got wind that, oh, we can't take the train because um, there were like people like throwing rocks and like setting yeah. the train tracks on Might fire. A little danger. Yeah. yeah. And even <laughs> though I, a little. I agree with the protest, you and know, this was pre-pregnancy. Yeah. This, this was, was like, yeah. This was <laughs> so three this years still, ago. Like, wild Kate. Like, <laughs> right. I'm like, I'm bring not on a mom. the fire. I'm not a mom. Throw, uh, throw, throw whatever you want. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Throw <laughs> yeah. rocks. You're, you're like throwing rocks with them. <laughs> well, I agreed with yeah, them. You right. know, no, I, totally. I was like, yeah. absolutely. They shouldn't jack up the prices and it's not fair. But on the right. other hand, because to get to it's Machu tough. Picchu. Yeah, it's a tough situation for, I mean, any, you know, when somebody yeah. has to strike, there's usually not a, it's like, uh, you probably have a point, but also it's like, you know. Right, I'm here once in a lifetime, and I, my tickets are good for one day. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, not yeah. to be some like privileged American. Don't but, ruin my weekend, bitch. Yeah, come on, I'm on vacation. I don't care about your human rights. I'm no, here just for the pictures. That's right, for the <laughs> selfies. So I, yeah, I bought I was, a selfie stick for this trip. 
<laughs> so did like 500 other people. It was yeah. crazy how many selfie sticks Got, there were. The guy that but... invented the selfie stick. <laughs> Oh, it must be loaded. Man, on his yacht right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not doing a podcast, that's <laughs> right. for sure. But, uh, so I'm sorry, as you were saying um, about oh, the train. Yeah, so we got wind that they were just like, oh, there's just going to be no train tomorrow. And the tickets we had to Machu Picchu, I mean, it's not like a metro park. Like, mm-hmm. you got to get them months in advance, and yeah. you can only go that day yeah. and to okay it by the government. So we're like, well, what are we supposed to do? And they're like, well, at our hotel, they're like, there are these back roads that you <laughs> might be able to get a cab to take you up. Yikes. I was like, oh, okay. They're like, a but. Cab? Yeah, they're like, but. Yeah, a cab, like two hours. Like, and they go, you got to leave at three in the morning. Yeah. To beat the protesters because the protesters <laughs> are on gonna, a tight schedule. <laughs> they're on a tight schedule. They're gonna <laughs> block all the roads by setting fires, right? So, so you can't. Yeah, I see. Get so they're through. like, well, there's no other way but the train, and the train's not running. Mm-hmm. That's kind of smart. Yeah, strategic protesting. Yeah. And like I said, I agreed and yeah, I was yeah, torn. Like, yeah. and, but, but I was like, well, I'll look. get the insurance on this rental. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, 20, 29 bucks a day. Right. Absolutely. So we call this cab. It's supposed to be there at three in the morning. It doesn't show up. Ugh. And then there's this other family of family of three who they had a cab and theirs did show up and it was like a van cab. And we're like begging them like, well, can we come in your cab? And and they, I mean, did they speak English? Or well, they were like, from Canada. Oh, but they were strange enough, not very nice. Oh, well, I know. Yeah. And well, I was the, like, come on. They weren't nice in this, but no, they yeah. weren't. And, and but I mean, I guess they were fine. I but... guess yeah, yeah. Where do you, did they tell you where in Canada they were from? No, I don't. I don't Man, remember. Yeah, but they eventually know. let us in after That's we had to cool. kind of talk them into it. Yeah. But we we're like, we'll buy you a keychain. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we'll key, exactly. We'll, what we'll do buy you some poutine. Yeah, like right. Yeah, some some Peruvian poutine <laughs> yeah yes. exactly but so we i mean this road it was like crazy like so it was like ice road truckers mm-hmm. i mean it was insane going up these mountains and at one point the cab driver oh oh and that's the other thing i have to kind of translate because yeah. none of the canadians speak spanish keith doesn't that alone would have been like oh please come you know more spanish than anybody yeah i can you know and you seem like a normal just travelers the way you know just like no nothing shady but like you know enough spanish that we might you know not die if we need it right and and we you become like an asset to this group you know that's what i thought i would have lied and said i know spanish just to get in you know (laughs) well you know banyo come on you know it right banyo uh biblioteca in case I need okay, to read. Bueno. Yes. Very good. What good? It's like how good. Kind it is good. Okay. Uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> this is why I don't leave America because I will die. Well, you could find the bathroom and check out a book. That's so. true. There's uh, that. Mail. But... I don't even know how to say that. Men's room? Oh, um, hombres. Hombres. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, that's Now that you mention it, it's coming back. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I keep getting derailed. So, uh, <laughs> derailed. Right. But so, <laughs> so, so you, you finally get them, uh, to let you ride with them. And, uh, it's, it's like the most treacherous, yeah. like at one point we pull over, uh, it's, it's bec- three in the morning. Right? Yeah. This is super dark, which I'm, I'm so glad because I mean, imagine like the worstly worstly i don't think that's a word but like the, the wor- worst paved road uh, no not right. paved like oh i was gonna say dirt path oh the worst dirt path that, that you've ever been on mm-hmm. and this was worse it was but off the side of a cliff yes yeah. i mean no guard like at one point yeah, nobody's there's no regulations on this mountain there's no like there's no, no highway lanes or like guard rails <laughs> no there are like farmed animals like goats <laughs> crossing in front of us just I, i'm not even making up wow. at one point we pull over and he just gets out the cab driver and just starts looking around and i'm like what is he doing oh no so i'm like oh is everything okay or what do you he's like oh yeah yeah, yeah. I, I just had to look for the road because i can't see it like you could it was the just fuck? it Jesus. was just literal yeah. mud because at one point i'm like there's no way we're not going to be pushing this car because right. it was just mud going straight up a mountain right you're going up you're stuck in mud that's impossible yeah Yeah, and we didn't even know if it was a road Uh uh-huh and at one point we go through this like i don't even know if you could call it a village i mean there were a few houses Mm -hmm. kind of it was like this dirt path going through there and he gets out because there are these guys who are almost like these stereotypical like soprano looking guys Uh like in a car and they get out and kind of creepy and then our guy gets out. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? And then he like talks to them. He comes back. I'm like, is everything cool? And he's like, yeah. 
And then we no just keep deal. going. No I'm big like, deal. Okay, this is really weird. It, it was almost like, is he going to have to pay these guys off because mm-hmm. they're like part of the protest and they're right. like, you're selling out. You can't take these like, people. We'll, uh, yeah. We'll like, we'll fuck your shit up if you, you yeah, know, for doing this or whatever. Yikes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it was just, it was insane. I mm-hmm. mean, it was like my life was flashing before that would my be, eyes yeah, the entire that would, time. <laughs> thank God. Yeah. Like, thank God you weren't pregnant during this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <thing with> <laughs> I probably wouldn't have gone. I would have no, been like, I yeah. wanted to see Machu Picchu my whole life, but right. right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll wait till she's in kindergarten. Exactly. Like, just... Go back and risk my life. <laughs> so. but that, yeah, that's intense. Yeah, but you guys made it up. Yeah. So they dropped us off. It, take, it took about four hours still, and even in all the bullshit, it took it took a few hours just yeah. in this cab because I mean, and we're talking like when I say minivan, I'm talking like American minivan. I mean, this <laughs> like a, thing, like a Chevy. Yeah, this like, thing, just like nothing. Yeah, teeny tiny. Um, and so he eventually like bypassed this one area, dropped us off at the train station. We still had to take a train, <laughs> and then but no, we did get there. But it was just like, mm-hmm. yeah. And then that cop thing happened. I mean, that mm-hmm. was a different day that yeah. that happened. But wow. it was just like, oh, how is kind of yeah something, and you know, gotta yeah have an adventure before uh, you can have an adventure. How much? Yeah, how much did the cab cost? Because is it like is it like, is it just like a flat rate? I don't even remember. I, I feel mean, like that would be pretty expensive to take a cab for like, like four several hours. hours. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, because like the ride back, who are you gonna pick up? Right. Like, it's not like you're taking someone to the airport. Like, oh, I'll totally like, yeah, I'll totally make the money back on the trip back. Yeah, whatever, you know, and well, it's like you're gonna pay it. You know what I mean? You like, have what, to. You, yeah, you're gonna not pay it. <laughs> like, exactly. You're in Peru, like you have to go. Well, and we were, you know, because I asked him, and this is why I think I might be bad at Spanish, because I was like, oh, how often do you take this trip? And he's like, oh, yeah, all the time. And I'm like, there's no way. There's not there's even no a road. Yeah. like All the time. Yeah. And you didn't know parts of it. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Or and like, you have to pay off these, like, mafia looking guys. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't even remember how much it was. It was cheaper than I thought it was. Yeah. I mean. But, like, between everybody, it was even it's cheaper. maybe, like, though, 50 yeah. bucks a person maybe yeah which was that's not that bad not too bad no that's not bad at all yeah um so. yeah i remember i don't know if you've seen like did you ever watch like parts unknown anthony bourdain show yeah you know? the, yeah that peru episode like, i saw he, it yeah but he goes like i mean like not to much you know machu picchu is at least like you know there's like tourists and mm-hmm. shit there's people like from all over the world that you can you know and i'm so i'm sure that you know you're just around every day you know it's not, you're not, it's not, it's remote, but not in the, like, unsafe, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I, I don't know, yeah, it's just, it's crazy the shit that you have to, like, navigate when you get really in the remote mm-hmm. parts of those countries, you know? Yeah, well, we, the one day, this was the day that the police pulled us over, we, um... <laughs> There's these things called the Nazca lines, mm-hmm. which I, did your girlfriend see those? I don't think I she didn't. I I don't remember her mentioning this, but she may have. You know. Okay. There. Yeah, I wish I could. I wish she was here so she, you guys could like. Yeah, we'd talk Peru. Yeah, yeah and, talk Peru and shit. Well, they're almost like the um the Peruvian version of crop circles. Okay. Oh, <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. I mean, they're but these like, things. But they're not circles. They're lines. Right. They're these lines and they look like little structures. And so mm-hmm. you know, nobody knows how they got there. Mm-hmm. And so you have to see them in an airplane. And I'm like terrified of little pile oh, jumpers. Okay. So I'm like. So it's something that you would like, you throw some money at a pilot. And like, it's not like when we're taking off, look out the left window. It's like. No, pay somebody to take you yeah. up there. It's like the helicopter tours in Myrtle yes. Beach. That's the closest thing I have. To, yes. Isn't that sad? That's the my. But they're more expensive than twenty dollars. My new. <laughs> it's like Which, Dave Dyer does that joke. He does like, joke about it. You know, he's like, yeah, if I'm paying someone to take me up in the air, I'm paying more than twenty dollars. Right, <laughs> like, right. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not paying this this guy twenty bucks. Oh, I know. I don't even know if he knows how to fly this shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah. Like, <laughs> So you wouldn't go up in them? No. So I. So Keith has this idea where he's like, well, let's just rent a car and drive to the airport and see if they've got something going. And in the back of my head, I'm like, what? I don't think you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm like, I don't think you could just drive to an airport. Like you have to book a tour or book a flight. Just and see what they got going on there. Just, just, just go to the airport and fuck around. Check it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so in the back of my mind, I'm like, look, I don't really care if they right. don't have any flights going out because I'm not going anyway. Right. I'm just going to wait at the airport. Mm-hmm. So we're driving to this, you know, and it's like this remote area uh-huh. you know and 
we can't even find the airport yeah. on our GPS. So we have to ask someone. Yeah. Like, hey. Oh, you have to ask. Where is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where is the airport, airport though? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Where is the airport? And this cab driver is like, that way. That, you know, he's just kind of, because we had to just roll down the window and be like, hey, where is it? And he's pointing us, he points us down this dirt road in like this residential neighborhood where there are dogs just hanging out on the road, because mm-hmm. like sleeping mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. no one's going down these streets. I'm like, there's no way. Like we were in yeah. this remote fishing village. <laughs> <Like> <laughs> sure enough because yeah. like, this guy has to be wrong so we're driving sure enough there's this tiny little airport right we park <laughs> in, in what looks to be a construction zone and mm-hmm. i asked there's like a guy where and i'm like this is the parking he's like yeah yeah i was like, no we can park here because like, i'm thinking like my spanish so i'm like now you're like second guessing your your translations here. yeah you're like am i asking the right thing like what right so i even said i go we can leave our car here yeah yeah and leave and he's yeah like, oh yeah yeah so we park and you know it looks to be a gravel pit we get <laughs> the airport we just show up and he's like you know you guys got any flights going up <laughs> they just like, look at us like we're insane right and and they're like what like today you yeah. just want to get on a plane he's like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what and the, they're like well no our last one just left well and then the one guy like oh there was God. a guy there who spoke english so he came over to us and he's like oh you guys you know what you want to see the nazca lens we're like yeah and he goes well, I got a guy oh, and, no, uh, you know, he's good. got a plane. And I just tell Keith, I go, I'm not getting on any plane, you know, right. who's got a guy. Yeah. Like, I feel like you <laughs> yeah. have a guy for like an yeah. oil change, not a right. pilot. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, absolutely. he's just got a plane in his garage, you yeah, know. This guy, he'll take you up there. <laughs> yeah. yeah and take... he wanted $1,200. So I was like, no. um, no, no, thank you. No. <laughs> so. Wow. So nobody, nobody saw any lines that day. And we didn't see any lines. And when we oh, when we man. came back, that was when we got pulled over at the checkpoint. So <laughs> I was like, "Well, all right, I what guess." What a day! Yeah, yeah, it was uh, it was interesting. Mm-hmm. But no checkpoint on the way there, though. No, locked out. So no, like, man. Yeah, so we were just land. smooth sailing on the way there, but <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> I know, but yeah, that was my uh, that was our Peru what, trip. Yeah, so you've been all over though. Where see you've been uh, New Zealand, Australia. How many countries have you been to? Have you been to? You haven't been to like well, obviously not Antarctica, but like how many? I've never how many to, continents? I've been to um. Well, actually, so I've just been to Europe and <laughs> South America and <laughs> Australia. So I've never been to like. Um, Asia or Africa, which I really would like to. That's next. Um, That's next. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I forgot. I actually did count up the countries. I think it's maybe 30. It's 20 some for Damn, sure. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. I, that's kind of my addiction. Is no, like totally. It's the best travel, addiction. So. Hell yeah. Yeah. Especially budget travel. Mm-hmm. That's my thing. Yeah. Totally. I mean, because you can do it without like spending. I mm-hmm. mean, should, Groupon alone, they have these crazy like, and I mean, and this is just like if you just. You know, like I've always thought, like I I could never go on a cruise. I could never pay to go on a cruise just because, like, it's like, why? You know, I just never. It doesn't appeal to me. Like, spend that much money, and it's just like, you tell me what I can eat. Tell mm-hmm. me how where I'm allowed to go. I can only do this. I don't want to think about where I'm going. Just put me in somewhere warm, and I'll just wait until we arrive. Wherever right, we're right. Going. Like, you know what I mean? Like, but like, I would rat. I think it just it makes more sense to me to just like just show up and figure it out you know like mm-hmm. that's kind of but you know obviously plan some shit ahead like know where you're going right, but like right. it, with groupon you can they have all these I, I mean whenever i'm feeling like i'm just gonna i got a credit card i can just yeah max seven hundred dollars <laughs> i can i can go to ireland tomorrow yeah you know and like it's like it at least like the flights and the stay are included that's really all you need you know mm-hmm. what i mean it's like and then i'll figure the, what i figure out what i'm gonna do you know but i'd say once every couple months i'm like i'm doing it yeah, you should. Yeah, I've got to. Yeah, but that's the thing is like it's just Groupon too. It's like yeah, and that's not even that expensive. It's like it's less than a thousand dollars. Oh yeah, you can fly. Okay, my and trip. that's with the flight and everything. Yeah, we should talk about frequent flyer miles because okay. I most of my trips Peru, Australia, New Zealand, I flew there for free. Yeah, just using like credit cards and frequent flyer miles, and so yeah, Dude, that's like yeah. my passion. So that's I would be awesome. happy to talk to you gotta, you gotta you gotta teach me your yeah, teach me your ways i will Shit, i would re- actually we'll just have to go together because i'm gonna need someone that's not like you know Let's what i mean because like, i'm dumb i would totally lose my organs if i went to mexico you know just because i would walk into some shit like this guy says 
this, this guy says like if we go down here we can <laughs> right and it's you we're know, on that, a list somewhere now, it's really yeah. exclusive <laughs> yeah yeah and, now, and then it's like i'm just cut open you know it's like okay all right i, I would i would fall for that shit i think i, mean, I don't know if i should put this out there publicly <laughs> right no, so now everyone's listening listen to the podcast big listenership in mexico right <laughs> gonna take advantage of you yeah. i think i just look too um innocent or i'm like so well, naive but you're not though but, but I think people like, think I am because I remember when I was in Guatemala, I um, like kind of befriended a drug dealer who I didn't know was a drug dealer. And I was asking all these questions. Like, So all you these... sounded suspicious without knowing that you were sounding suspicious? Yeah. And then I think he finally realized like, oh, she's not a narc. She's just an idiot. Like she thinks <laughs> like, because he told me he was a farmer for a living. I was like, oh, cool. What do you grow? <laughs> like, and he's like, apples. I was like, oh. What? And then I'm like, I don't think they that's not like a tropical <laughs> fruit you know and so then I was like oh what kind right <laughs> then, right oh my god and I was and then I think he finally was like oh she's just kind of a moron <laughs> like I'm not even gonna act or think she's suspicious of me and, that's so funny yeah it was my roommate I should have known because so where I stayed in Guatemala I had roommates mm-hmm. you know and a lot of them were American so you went there alone and you mm-hmm. so this these roommates were just like you just this is who was there when you got there. Yeah. Like, this is who I'm assigned with. Yeah. Yeah. And so I, I one of the guys I was assigned with was an 18-year-old guy who got kicked out of college for partying too much. <laughs> so his parents, his rich parents, sent him to Guatemala to do volunteer work where I'm like, okay, all he's going to do is party more. Yeah, but right? all right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> makes sense. And yeah. so he didn't. Yeah. He can. Yeah. He he can survive. Yeah, he can party for nothing down here. For, and, and drugs are it's very free. accessible. Cheap. Yeah, and so he didn't speak a word of Spanish, mm-hmm. which another reason it might have been a bad idea. God damn it. And so it's he just, brings yeah. home this guy one night who doesn't speak any English, and he's like, oh, this is my friend. This <laughs> ends up being the drug dealer, right? <laughs> so I'm like, what? <laughs> so that's and now now you're like, like, oh, I'm going to have to learn Spanish. Yeah, and I'm I like, just got to make sure this guy isn't going to kill us. <laughs> well, he was, he was very nice. But sure I, but like aren't they all when isn't that yeah. how you get into the, somebody's apartment <laughs> probably <laughs> i don't know like well, you just because oh, i kept man. asking i was like how did you guys meet or how'd you guys get to be friends you know because i'm like yeah. oh you can't even communicate and, and then it's yeah like, oh, he's just buying drugs from him <laughs> just like, i have no idea <laughs> but yeah and then they just smoke pot on our roof and then he went home That's and, awesome. and that was that that is great yeah uh, <laughs> but, but so i feel like being, so what do you grow apples <laughs> Right. And then he kind of winked. Like, that's weird. That's okay. Weird. Okay. I'm going to sit a little farther away. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. That is nuts. But I feel like if you're kind of smiley and naive seeming right. or looking, they kind of, I don't know. I feel like I've gotten a lot of breaks because people, I'm yeah. just. People just, yeah. Just like, oh, no. Nah, just don't worry about it. Don't worry about Kate. Right. Or maybe I'm kind of, I mean, I've also probably done some things that aren't real smart. Like in when I was in Brussels by myself. I couldn't find the road I was looking for and this delivery truck guy is like I'm going that way just get in the van Yikes. and I did by Kate, myself when I know. was this? Two years ago two years ago? <laughs> yeah it's not even that long ago. Was no that, I know was that after that whole I mean I guess this shit could happen anywhere it doesn't really affect it but like was this during that when was that Brussels it was after so yeah so like you're already going there like What's going on here? Like, yeah, you know, like what kind yeah. of like locally, what, cause this is your first And there's time, already right? all kinds of like army guys with machine guns right. in like, like every corner. Like, <laughs> yeah. So you're already like, everybody's on high alert. It's just weird. Yeah. It's just weird time to be there. And then like, just get some guy's van. Yeah. I, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, luckily he dropped me off for him. No, going. luckily. It was very nice. Yeah, just, <laughs> but, I mean, that's great. But in retrospect, that was probably a little. Damn, Kate. Silly. Yeah. You're, you're a gutsy traveler. I don't think I would do it. Or, or yeah. kind of dumb. No, <laughs> but, no. Well, that's the thing is like, but that's the way we should, you know, it's like, it's a bummer that you can't, tra- yeah. you can, it's a bummer that you, you can't, can't live that way. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's a bummer that I have to feel that way where I'm like, I don't know this. I've just, guys probably taking of it. You know what I mean? Like, or like, I might get kidnapped or robbed or whatever. Yeah. Like, you know, I don't know where I'm at, you know? But that's one nice thing I think about travel is that you almost, especially it when you don't know you where to, you're going, you yeah. have to trust people, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. And because I think a lot of the places I've stayed when I've stayed in hostels, it's mm-hmm. like, I don't a lot of times I won't have an itinerary and then you just talk to someone like, oh, you should go here. Mm-hmm. You know, meeting them and hanging shit. out. And, yeah. yeah. I mean, because, you know, I mean, generally the most, most people are fine. They're not going to like, they're not going to, but when you're in another country and I'm like, I don't know the language, I can't read anything yeah. or I can't like understand anybody. And it's like already I'm like, okay, just pay attention. 
just pay attention. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I mean, it's good to pay attention, yeah. you know, but sometimes, but you know, it's like, well, who, the, what's the, where's the fun in that? It kind of ruins it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I want to be able to go, yeah, just hop in the back. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. Just right. get right just in your car. Van. Sure. <laughs> wow. That's nuts, man. They're that's like, cool though yeah, yeah or, or i mean i mean i've had some adventures where it's like oh this could go wrong mm-hmm. you know or this sure could, like, but it can go wrong here too that's the thing exactly. is like what a, you know <laughs> and luckily it's you know knock on wood or whatever yeah. it's, it's <laughs> usually been pretty okay or you kind of find one person who speaks english and right hope. it'll be fine yeah yeah, yeah. it's thing. okay it's like, so <laughs> Some, I mean, you're talking to someone who's never left like in canada that doesn't count you know, you I gotta, gotta go I have to. I know. I'm Do you just have a broke. passport? I gotta get one. You gotta get. I gotta one. get a passport, yeah. and then I'm gonna just I'm gonna get wasted one night and, and buy go a on trip. Groupon. Bu- yeah, buy some group. I'm gonna go well, drunk Groupon shopping. You should and talk to me about frequent flyer miles. Yes, seriously, seriously. Keith isn't on it too, and yeah, like Keith's a nerd about it. He was all about it. Yeah, yeah. our flights. I don't. Yeah, our other trips have pretty much. That's been what he like, said. Because I remember when I forgot that you guys had gone to Australia and that together. Mm-hmm. And I, when he told me he was going, and he, I was just like, "How are you? Going? That's crazy." I, you know, I just it was I free. I know. I go. I can't like. I just can't do it. I I can't afford it or whatever. You know. And he was like, "Yeah, it's easy. Just this, this." this. And I'm like, yeah. "Oh, well, all right." Yeah. Well, shit. I gotta get on that. Though. Yeah. Also, my just the Groupon thing. I can just do right now. I should. Should I, should I do? That's it? true. Do you want to go to Ireland? Bring Let's the do kid. It. Bring yeah. the kid. Can can babies fly? Yeah. Okay. It's so funny that you mentioned that. <laughs> you already looked into this. Haven't yes. You? Well, she flew actually with me to a gig. Really? Uh, oh, a couple see, months that's ago. That's the fun part is you're gonna get to take her on the road. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Where did you guys fly to? Uh, Myrtle Beach. Nice. Nice. <laughs> we did not go in the helicopter. No. But, no. Um, yeah. Myrtle Beach is such a weird town. It is a weird place. Yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. It's like people who can't afford to go to Florida. Yeah. It's kind know? of the Cedar Point yeah, yeah, vacations. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah totally. It's Should I not make of, local references? I know it's a hyper local reference. But it's yeah. It's just like kind of like you know. A lot of airbrushed, uh, you know, yeah. monster stickers and like, you know, nice people, but like Very just nice. a weird, t- you know, just. You know. <laughs> but not a place I would maybe elect to go on vacation right, if I wasn't right. getting paid. Right. Exactly. Like it's great to go and do gigs and like, you know, yeah. it's like a great beach, you know, go to the beach and stuff. Yeah, it's great. But like, I'm never going there on purpose. No, <laughs> no, it's, it's, I mean, it's a weird. Yeah. Because I mean, I love the people who work at the club. Actually, mm-hmm. one of my no, really good friends works there. And, yeah. um, but yeah some of the it's weird too i feel like the boardwalk is some of it's kind of nice and yeah. then it's like it gets kind of seedy yeah. like like real quick yeah. Yeah. you know and you're just like oh okay. definitely yeah but it's so funny is you you said nothing like that about peru or like <laughs> right. about any foreign country but like you're like but i want to Myrtle Myrtle beach, beach. Like, Woo! would i get in that guy's van hell no probably not <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah, hilarious because, my mom and I, uh, my mom came with me okay. and the baby did. And so then she watched. That's a great trip. Yeah. The baby. So just the three of you? Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. yeah. And we decided, we're like, well, let's walk. We went to this Indian restaurant. We walked to the restaurant and we had to like walk through some areas mm-hmm. that were like, yeah, <laughs> people kind of living out of these motels mm-hmm. and just, I don't know, just kind of yeah. sketchy a little well, bit. And you had and the baby. So maybe that's why you were a little more on yeah. high alert. But yeah. Yeah, there weren't a lot of tourists in these yeah. these parts. But, was, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, we actually. Um, it's funny that you mentioned that we got her passport. Um, oh, okay. Today she had her, her appointment for real. Yeah, okay. yeah. So she had to take like these little baby pictures. Oh, it was pretty cute. Baby's first passport. Yeah, that's so great. Yeah, you should gonna be another Kate Brindle. That's all it is. I hope so. Yeah, we're, hell yeah. We're gonna have somebody to, to travel with. Yeah, a little travel buddy. Yeah, I hope so. We're going to um in October. We're going to Cuba. <laughs> You're taking the baby. Yeah, to Cuba. Yeah, see, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, so she had to have a passport. So yeah. we that's so awesome. Got her appointment today. And so cool. yeah, I hope it'll be fun. So yeah. I've always wanted to go because it was kind of like forbidden for right. so long. So <laughs> yeah. now I'm like, well, you okay, want to go to before it's all McDonald's and Marriott. You know, that's kind of what I was like, thinking like, this too. Thing, which like, it probably will go. be. It might be by now. I'm sure yeah. they don't wait a minute. I know, but yeah, but I mean, I'm sure it's still. You know, you want to see some of like the, like what you see in pictures. Yeah. You know, yeah. you don't want to see the, oh, great. Another great Chipotle's here now. Mm. Great. I'm, TGI Fridays. Yeah. You it's know, like, ooh, stupid, Havana. Like, yeah. Yeah. Who Havana. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> let's go to, let's go to Bar Louie. Right. Oh, God, <laughs> you know. know what I mean? Like, it's like, a, <laughs> I don't go to Cuba and then all it is is the same shit here. Mm-hmm. It's like, don't ruin it. But exactly. It's going to be. So. <laughs> I know. Gotta get there before. Gotta get in. That's, yeah. Got to get in while it's still good. There. Exactly. Hell yeah. Thank you for coming on the podcast again. Oh, thanks for having me. Uh, it was fun. Do you have anything you want to share while you're plug while you're here? Like a uh, website, all that stuff. Anything you want to. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, this will be just... out in a couple weeks. Okay. So, I mean, if 
if, I don't know if any, anything. I mean, because you put all your dates online, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So just, I guess people can go to my website, katebrindle.com. And... Katebrindle.com. Yes. Hell yeah. And follow me on Instagram. I'm Instagram's to the big one, right? Increase my followers. Yeah. yeah but. Well, yeah. Go see where, where Kate's traveling. Where, what's your Instagram? Was it uh, Kate, just Kate, just Brindle. Kate Brindle? Oh, yeah. you, you got it? Yes. There's no other Kate Brindles. Like, you're not the like other Kate Brindles. Kate Brindle underscore two. <laughs> no. There, I don't think there are very many. I think there's like a figure skater named Kate Brindle in like Sweden. It's always or someone something. that's doing some cool ass shit. Yeah. Like cooler than you, yeah. arguably. Yep. Yeah. But yeah. no, I got it. So Hell screw yeah, that Kate. other Kate Brindle. Yeah, screw her. Yeah. Maybe yeah. She'll, she might have to buy it from you one day if that's she gets the, if she goes to the Olympics or something. It's like, here, you know, you can have Kate Brindle, but it's going to cost you. Yeah, I, let's hope she gets good. Yeah. Because, Have you ever been like, to Switzerland? You uh, should just hit her up. I've never been to Switzerland. No. Okay, so that's like the to. night. Just, just, uh, just DM her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just DM her. Like, hey, I'm coming out. Can I come over? <laughs> I'll give you my Instagram. Ta- yeah. Would you? Would you? Sh- would you trade your? Insta- oh, would you yeah. trade Insta- the Kate Brindle Instagram? for for sure <laughs> i have a thousand followers i mean come on who cares and it's taken me like five years yeah, to right? get those so yeah, i've had instagram I, for like yeah for since it started it, yeah me too and i so no it's, yeah, it's right? of no value to me right now if she wants it and Just i can stay crash. there hell yeah yeah i would do it awesome well thank you kate I appreciate yeah it. thank you